Now, the fact some fans were able to catch these few big screen goofs didn't completely derail the films in question by any means. But once you spot these specific cinematic clangers, there's still a solid chance you'll never be able to unsee them ever again. Gareth here from WhatCulture.com, and oh yes, here's 10 more movie mistakes you'll never unsee, you lucky lot. Number 10, a switch is missed, but the lights go out anyway. Grease. This may be the same weird picture that also contained a car flying off into the sunset, and whatever was going on in that beauty school dropout number, but that still doesn't exactly explain how the lights managed to find a way to go out at one point in Greece without someone even making contact with a switch. With the film taking place quite some time before folks were able to dim a room using only their voice, the visual of Vi going to press her elbow on a switch in the diner moments before that aforementioned beauty school detour has left a number of T-Birds and Pink Ladies scratching their heads over the years. As Joan Blondell's Frosty Palace waitress leans against the wall in hope and completely misses her target, instead of trying to go back and redo the blunder, the folks behind the project decided, meh, that'll do, and whacked the clicking sound effect over the top of the surreal sequence that then saw the lights suddenly go down. Yet everything from the awkward pause as Vi and Dee Dee Con's Frenchie wait for the visual cue, to the speed in which the bizarre occurrence is skipped over only adds to the charm of this entire 1971 classic. Number 9, a magical camera person, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. You just never knew who or what was going to pop up in Hogwarts at any given moment, eh? But it's not just many a powerful wizard, witch, troll, werewolf, or any other magical figure that have been known to stop by for a quick on-screen appearance in the School of Witchcraft and Wizardry over the years, though. Sometimes those most magical of beings by the name of camera operators have found a way to sneak into frame, too. Jumping back to the second Harry Potter big screen adaptation by the name of the Chamber of Secrets, eagle-eyed fans were able to spot a brief moment during the titular Boy Who Lived and Draco Malfoy's duel when a rather unusual student could be seen amongst the audience. Look closely at the bottom left of the frame as the Slytherin lad is yanked up to his feet by Professor Snape after being put on his ass by Potter's spell. And you'll see what appears to be a camera person trying to capture another angle of the action for a second. That's one way to earn your first big screen acting credit, I suppose. Number 8. Robin Williams rapidly replenishing wine, the birdcage. Who wouldn't jump at the chance to possess the ability to instantly refill just about any beverage they'd just finished gulping? Well, in the case of Robin Williams' Armand Goldman in 1996 comedy flick The Birdcage, that dream was apparently a rather unexpected reality. Or more likely the result of someone not keeping an eye on continuity in between takes slash shots. Either way, when taken in the moment, Armand is told by Dan Futterman's Val that he's getting married. The subsequent necking of his glass of wine soon paves the way for one rather intriguing visual. As the scene cuts to Armand rising to his feet post-guzzling of a full glass of vino, the glass is suddenly half full before William's birdcage drag club owner places it down for a moment. It's an easily missed error in the middle of what is a comically tense moment between father and son, and doesn't exactly take anything away from the hilarious beat of a stressed out Armand trying to submerge himself in white wine. We've all been there. But it's one that is very hard to unsee once you spot this seemingly game-changing glass of alcohol. Number 7. What happened to your shirt? The Fast and the Furious. Admittedly, the Fast and Furious franchise left the realms of realism in the dust many, many years ago at this stage. But there was actually a moment during the much more grounded first street racing outing that seemingly hinted at the often surreal franchise that would follow. During the race war sequence, the pink slip duel between Jesse and Johnny Tran, played host to perhaps the quickest outfit change in cinematic history. As the drag race is about to get underway, Tran can very much be spotted wearing a buttoned-up black shirt as the engines begin to rev. Then, just as the camera cuts to a shot of Johnny after the ref lifts their hands to kick off the action, Tran is revealed to suddenly be wearing only a black vest. What happened to his shirt in that second or two in between shots? Did Tran literally tear it off in a fit of rage? only to effortlessly compose himself in less than two seconds flat? It's more likely someone just decided that the better look was to have the villainous gang leader showing off his guns in a tank top and hoped fans wouldn't clock the rapid attire change. Number 6. Marv's Cuts Change Sides, Sin City You'd be forgiven for losing track of the many cuts and bruises Mickey Rourke's Marv picks up over the course of his time in the thick of the hard-hitting action scene going down in 2005's neo-noir graphic novel adaptation by the name of Sin City. 
But if you do look a little closer at Mickey Rourke's grizzled figure and Carla Eugenio's Lucille escaping from Cannibal Kevin's basement, it's clear that Marv's facial scars and gashes go through something of a surreal change in between shots. After Marv pulls the bars clean off the wall and creates an opening for their departure, the shot shows his facial cuts clearly going from the top right of his face down to the bottom left. However, as the duo make their way out of their prison, the cuts blatantly swap sides as the helicopter light outside flashes over them. Maybe Marv just possesses some freakish healing abilities and unfortunately caught his mug again on the way out of captivity, but it's more likely the shot was simply flipped in post-production, leading to what appears to be some rather bizarre shifting wounds. Number 5. The Ball Switches Colour Mid-Match Goal Those who have spent a frankly absurd amount of their spare time watching grown individuals run around a pitch chasing after a football will all likely be very much aware of a little 2005 footy picture by the name of Goal. What those who live and breathe all things footy may not have clocked during Santiago Munez's rise to superstardom, however, is an easily missed football blunder in the form of those all-important balls of air being booted around the field. During the Chelsea match against Newcastle United midway through the feature, the object being passed and kicked suddenly changes colours mid-match, going from yellow to white at various points. This isn't exactly a common occurrence in football, with a number of balls being used sometimes over the course of a game, but never ones of differing colours throughout the match. The mistake is likely just the result of slicing together real-life football footage with stuff filmed solely for the film, but it definitely leaves you feeling as though you're watching two different games at the same time once you spot that ever-changing ball. Number 4. Captain America's Vanishing Shield Captain America The First Avenger Captain America may come equipped with everything from super strength to pretty darn impressive speed, but one power America's ass definitely does not possess is the ability to shrink things down to a freakishly small size or make them disappear entirely. And that's what makes one particular beat in the thick of Steve Rogers' hugely enjoyable Hydra battering montage in The First Avenger a little difficult to understand. In the wake of blowing up a Hydra base and sticking the landing on his trusty motorcycle, Cap is seen hitting the ground without his iconic shield strapped to his back. But when the next shot jumps in front of a smiling Rogers, the vibranium shield is very much seen being sported by the first Avenger. Now it is worth remembering that this legendary weapon slash shield is very much known for not obeying the laws of physics, right? But outside of Hank Pym randomly offering Steve a particle for his occasional rough landing, it seems this was likely more a case of the stunt being a little easier to execute without a massive round object on someone's back. Number 3. A Shadowy Camera Crew Cameo Blade Runner Returning to those crew members who accidentally earned themselves a blink and you'll miss it cameo in the middle of the action now, and to that time a shadow briefly shattered the illusion during one of Ridley Scott's iconic sci-fi showings. Towards the end of the 1982 classic that is Blade Runner, Harrison Ford's Rick Decker can be found wandering past a wall as streaks of light blast his shadow onto it, and it's here when what appears to be a few of the film's crew members can be momentarily spotted. Walking ahead of the leading man, the camera operator's shadow is seen quickly walking backwards as they capture Ford's movements, with another crew member stepping behind them, probably making sure they don't trip on a rogue wire. Number 2. The Disappearing Fig Newtons Talladega Nights The Ballad of Ricky Bobby In another case of suddenly disappearing objects partway through a pulsating piece of action, Ricky Bobby's attempts to overtake Jean Girard in one particularly intense race led to a crash so extreme it forced the sticker to evaporate altogether. Throughout the fast-paced sequence, the NASCAR vehicle Will Ferrell's Bobby is seen screeching and speeding around in has a massive Fig Newton sticker on its windscreen, until the relentless driver's car is dramatically flipped into the air as a bid to take first place from Sasha Baron Cohen's character catastrophically backfires. During the stunt involving Bobby's wonderbred race car being sent soaring through the air, the aforementioned Fig Newton's advertising goes from being present as it begins to spin out of control to completely non-existent as the soon-to-be battered vehicle takes to the sky. Buzz Lightyear would be proud. Number 1. A Blatant Stunt Person Swap Encino Man For a whole host of reasons, sometimes the actors starring in a feature just aren't available to shoot the odd shot in the thick of a sequence they are otherwise very much a part of. Look no further than the bizarre moment in the middle of 1992 caveman comedy Encino Man's driver's ed hijacking scene when paused at just the right moment. It seems that the eventual Lord of the Rings star wasn't on hand to participate in one particular shot involving his character and Brendan Fraser's. So a stunt person was evidently brought in for the moment, but instead of strategically hiding their face in order to fool audiences into thinking this was actually Aston attempting to stay alive in the speeding vehicle, the stunt workers simply decided to sneak their own mug into the mix for a cheeky cameo of sorts. Look at that face. That is definitely Aston bobbing up and down in the background throughout the majority of the rest of this mad dash, but for a second or two there, Aston's anything but identical stunt double was the unexpected and likely unintentional star of the show. And that's our list of any other movie mistakes you'll never unsee. 
Then let us know all about them in the comment section right down below. And do not forget to like, share, and click on that subscribe button while you're at it. Also, if you like this kind of thing, then please do head on over to whatculture.com and find some more incredible articles just like the one this video you're watching right this second is based on. I've been Gareth from whatculture.com. Thank you, as always, for watching this lovely video today. Hopefully, I'll see your faces very, very soon. But in the meantime, just be good to yourself. Bye-bye.